select right plane and click on sketch now select a circle and draw a circle in center point okay and give it to dimension to this circle keep 38 dia okay then go to the curve click on the curve and choose helix and spiral we are going to make it spiral and here pitch no first define by keep it spiral and uh, in parameter choose 25.4 mm and uh, revolution keep 1.8 mm see and degree keep 0 degree clockwise so it it will be like that press okay and click and see our spiral comes okay now we will uh, click on the geometry reference geometry select the plane now plane layout comes just click on the start point of the spiral the surface comes in this point now again click this is helix spiral line so the our plane is selected make it yes now we will sketch on this plane so just uh, select the sketch uh, plane and sketch and click on the normal plane now this is our plane we are going to create one geometry here uh, select a central rectangle try to keep it center and draw a rectangle now give it to dimension twenty-six point five okay and upper side keep forty-two point one four okay okay this dimension almost okay now just little tilt and select this spiral and press shift and hold shift and click on the center point of this and a window pop up and make it click on make peers see the the rectangle is the peers with this center of this spiral okay and click on the exit sketch now same again click on the plane and select sketch and uh, go to normal okay now again we will draw one rectangle so just select center rectangle rec now we will draw as uh, rectangle in down side okay give it to dimension Keep it 33.27 mm. This is suitable for our and this dimension keep 63.5 mm. Okay. And one more thing we have to choose this center dimension and this rectangle center dimension keep it 81. 81 mm. It is uh, suitable for our requirement. Okay, and now the plane center and and press shift and select this another center. Keep in vertical. Make it vertical. Now this is okay. Just uh, exit this sketch. Just hide this plane, plane one, and click on hide. Okay. Now we will connect this both by choosing lifted boss or base. Click on the lifted boss. Select this one point and select another point, another rectangle point. Okay, now point is selected. Now you have to go to center line parameter. Means the path. We have to define the path and just choose this. Just a little drag and choose the line. 
See? This almost okay. Just click. Yes. This is created. Our uh, turbo body. Turbo charger body. Turbo air body. Okay, now click on the reference symmetry. Click on the plane. And select on this surface. So now one plane created parallel to this surface but we have to give some dimension give give it to 63.5 mm okay this much is enough yes select this plane click and click on sketch now we will draw a circle just uh, click on normal choose one center line construction line select this point to this point we draw a one center construction line to draw a circle so choose circle and select the center point of this plane give it to dimension Keep this dimension also 63.5 mm. And make it exit. Now what we did, we already produced a circle with Now we will choose a plant, we will choose boundary boss. This is a very important uh, plant, select boundary. Clear this selection. Now click on the surface of this plane. Okay. And here one window pop up and it is written none. We will select curvature to face ok now the same we will select another one this uh, circle this circle selected and one uh, another window pop up here we will select normal to profile see it comes like a profile Select yes, okay. But uh, this is not perfect. This is twisted. So again, we uh, you have to select and go to edit feature, and we have to match these things. So we have to just drag this point to down. This should have been better. Better little more drop. Click yes. Now this quite better. Okay. This is a uh, good. Hide this plane. Now select this surface and click on sketch and just click on convert entities. So this circle is converted and click on extrude boss and we will extend this up to 
33.27 okay so now this we already extruded now we will select a shell shell command and uh, give it to thickness uh, 1.5 mm and we will choose this end and second end now this is going to be become hollow so click ok and now see this is become hollow from both the end now we will choose fillet and we will cl uh, click on variable size we will give uh, dimension uh, okay first we will select there are two boxes come variable size so first first uh, in unsigned put zero and second unassigned uh, put four on it. press okay this dimension okay the same as choose another one variable dimension choose dimension unassigned 0 1 end and another end assign same 4 this 4 click yes in same manner in another side also fillet choose this one one side zero and assign another side four on it. okay the same as for down one end as keep zero and another end keep four on it. okay so we already assigned a well radius to all the sides now we will choose this layer and click sketch now we will select one by one one layer press and hold shift key select another second one then third one and fourth one and click on convert entities now this uh, square box converted rectangle was converted click on exit now select right plane click on sketch and click to the normal select select this one this line loop one and click on convert entity we are going to convert it now select a line we will draw a line from this point to to the, this point This line should be coincide with this line. Select this line, press shift and select this point, end point. And make it coincide, it should be. Okay. Select trim entity and trim one side. See? Okay. Now select go to the surface and click on the extruded surface. See our surface is created here. Uh, we will select first up to vertex. Where is our vertex? This one. And in second direction the same we will select up to vertex and 
our second vertex end of this side okay now what we will do we will just hide this body click on the body and hide now this surface is only remaining here so now we will select sub planar surface we will select one side and this side now this area is closed click okay the same as for another side click planar surface select loop and this area this is also closed okay now give it to choose fillet no sorry uh, we will make knit surface combine two or more adjacent surface okay this side upper and this side click yes okay now we will give the radius to both the side so our radius is 4 and 1 what we give in our body this one no choose constant size and give it to 4 or 1 give it to this side also 4 or 1 this is quite better click yes see this is our ready now we will appear our body there is one portion solid bodies just click on the war fillet and click on show so see our body is appeared after uh, fillet go to insert base and select thickness keep third one and uh, keep thickness 1.5 mm and this merge result check and check okay now the thickness is selected now go to the feature and extrude cut and select this box we will make it uh, 1.5 mm and clip it okay now the inside thickness is cut now select this portion and sketch click on the normal we will draw a circle this upper will set give it to dimension give it 20 dia okay and the distance between the whole set circle center and the main center keep 10 mm okay and this click send on the center of the circle hold shift and center of the body and make it vertical okay now click on the extruded box and we will ex expand it uh, just to, uh, up to 10 mm and uh, click on the th thickness feature keep it 1.5 mm inside and click okay takes little time one point five mm thickness no merge result click okay now it's okay now select this sketch and uh, select this circle convert it and go to the extruded cut 
and just click on the up to next so the only thickness will cut click ok so now only thickness is cut see you can see inside view ok now click on the face of this extruded part and click on sketch just select this inner radius and convert it and now draw a one circle click on the circle and the center point of this circle draw a circle give it two dimension uh, we will give it two dimension around uh, 30 and click it, click it to extruded extrude boss keep 10 mm no thickness ok now see or go to the another side select another side click on sketch go make it normal and draw the same circle what we did back side make it dimension 20 and this hole and center distance keep 10 mm ok and click the circle center shift body center make it vertical and extrude it Keep it 10 mm extrude, keep thickness 1.5 mm and uh, inside. Okay. Sometimes it takes time. Now Select this extruded part, sketch and draw a circle. Give it the dimension 44.88 mm. Ok. Now go to the extrude and give it to 10 mm outside. Ok. My graphics card is very small, so that's why this picture takes time to appear. But this is our air turbo almost now finish. We done it. We made it air turbo. The main function of air turbo is supply the excessive and fresh air to the engine or internal combustion engine to perform the to increase the efficiency of engine. This is the main function of air turbo. See. Thank you for watching our tutorial. This is the air turbo and uh, please do, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more video and keep continue watching the engine tutorial. This is the one of the part of engine and now next few parts are still balanced to complete the engine. Keep watching. Thank you for watching.